Okay guys, I'm just going to show you this. I've come up with an alternative setup today for filming pinball. I'm going to have to play with this uh, sort of in the way, which is going to make it really difficult. Um, as you can see, spared no expense, so we've got a smartphone sellotape to uh, a pole. <laughs> All right, let's see how we get on anyway. What's up guys, Ape Andy back again. I'm in the games room today and we are gonna take a look over a Tron Pro by Stern. Now, I have been meaning to make this video for ages. I've bought the machine months back and I've been really, really enjoying it. I think it's a fantastic pinball machine. Um, John Ball design and it, yeah, it's so cool. It's probably the fav my favorite pin that I've owned. Um, I've been through a few now and Tron has got me really, really addicted. It's a good game. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the usual tour of the machine, maybe a little bit more concise than previous ones. Um, and then we're gonna do a gameplay and hopefully get some modes started, you know, fire up some multi balls and give you an idea of what it's all about, you know, the look and sound of the machine itself. Okay, um, let's get cracking. Okay guys, so here is the uh, machine in question. I absolutely love the side art on Tron. Now, Tron isn't a theme or franchise or whatever that I am especially fond of. I remember watching the, uh, the film, uh, the original film as a kid and not, I don't think I really understood it. I've, I've watched it since and it's, it's kind of impressive visually, especially for the time. Uh, but it's not really my cup of tea, I have to admit. It's all right, it's okay. Now, Tron Legacy, that this game is based on um, even less so. In fact, I think I dozed off whilst I was watching it. Um, that was probably more that I was exhausted rather than it being shit. Um, anyway, yeah, so that was the, uh, that was the side art, so as I'm waffling on, which I really, really love. I think the machine as a whole is really cool looking, um, despite some, uh, misgivings about the playfield. I'll talk about those in a minute, but there's the, uh, there's the trans light. Um, my uh, my girlfriend pointed out that this uh, he looks a little bit like Robbie Savage, which has ruined it somewhat. Um, but there is an alternative translate with the girls from the movie on it, which is really cool and yeah, a consideration for the uh, for the future. Onto the play field now. When I mentioned misgivings a second ago, it really is the play field that I would question. I should preface this by saying that as a whole, the game looks cool. I mean, the lighting this one's LED'd. Um, and it's, it's, it's got cool color tones and things. Uh, and I like this bit around by the flippers on the bikes, it's very cool. But unfortunately the play field is that era of Stern games where they were a little bit um, kind of, the play fields were kind of appear to be knocked up in Photoshop quite quickly. Uh, I, I'm just trying to think of some games like Iron Man, that kind of, uh, yeah, that game, uh, Spider-Man, one or two others. They're a little bit lacking creativity, shall we say. Like with some of the more modern games, Aerosmith, um, which is Dirty Donnie's art, uh, and Ghostbusters, which is Zombie Yetis. They, they, it, that, it goes a long way having that beautiful artwork on the play field. But as I say, as a whole, Tron is a stunning game. I, I really like the way it looks. And uh, bef I mean, the sound, the huge, one of the huge, huge bonuses of this game is the soundtrack and the call outs, so it's it's Daft Punk um, from the movie, and it, it just, it sounds awesome. I, I know a lot of people fit a um, a subwoofer uh, underneath a better one to make it really boot it out, but it's why it's got some of the best sound in pinball. When you fire it up, it sounds awesome, and we will have a look at, a listen to that even in a, se in a second. So I'll do a very, very brief tour of the play field. Um, let's come back to the bottom. So you've got the scoop here, which starts multi balls. It's Flynn's arcade. Um, there's a very cool mod where you can replace this shitty looking arcade machine with a much more realistic one, which even has a little LED screen on it, which shows the attract sequence from the Tron arcade game. It's very cool, uh, but it's also $400, so that's never happening for me. Um, yeah, so this the, um, the ball in there can be a skill shot off the, um, the plunger, or you can start multi balls from it. Uh, this game has got three multi balls in it, as I remember. Light Cycle, Cora, and there's a third one, which we'll get onto in a minute. I am going to whiz through the uh, the talk of this quite fast because for sort of non pinball people, it's probably pretty dull. <laughs> probably even for pinball people, it might be a bit dull. Um, so yeah, this game, there's kind of two approaches to scoring. You've got the modes 
up the middle, Flynn, Gem, CLU, Zeus, Cora, which require you to do different things. Um, and completing them, or even lighting them, starting them, uh, if you get them all done, you can start one of the two wizard modes. I've never actually reached the uh, the main wizard mode, which is Portal, which requires you to complete all of the uh, all of these modes. Um, I've been very close, frustratingly close, but it's pretty tough. And I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people that own Tron don't ever get to that. Uh, certainly, the guy I bought it from mentioned that he'd never got to Portal. It's yeah, it's tough. It's a tough game. So. Yeah, you've got your modes along here. These are various different things around the play field. Uh, gem, I should probably talk about Gem. So this game is a Borg design, and Borg uh, has... These are, there's a couple of shots in this game that are very Borg-like, specifically the Cora shot and the Gem shot. Um, so the Cora shot is it's narrow, it's difficult, difficult shot. A few of those will uh, light Cora multiball down here, which is a very cool multiball mode. You start by putting in the scoop. Uh, the gem mode, aforementioned gem mode, is such a tough shot. So you need three shots off of the third flipper, which is here. Um, and you send it just past where, so the recognizer, these three yellow uh, blocks here, that's a wall that comes down actually. But um, the ramp here, just to the left, there, that is your gem shot, and it is a tough, tough shot, and it's so satisfying when you hit it, it is awesome, really, really cool. Um, now, the recognizer, the the, uh, the wall here that I mentioned before, three or four hits on that, it will lower it, and it makes the gem shot a little bit easier. It's, it's so tough when that wall's up. Um, now, when the recognizer is down, it reveals, sorry about the reflection, it reveals the disc behind. And that's the third multi-ball in the game. So this spins at a rate of knots, uh, kind of like whirlwind. And when you send the ball in there, it's one of the coolest feats in this game. I love it. Sending the ball into that disc, the disc just pumps it back out with backspin, side spin, top spin, whatever. Um, and I mean, sometimes it can even pump it out with enough backspin to send it back in. Anyway, multiple uh, entries of the disc will start the disc multi-ball which is a, cool, a really cool mode um, where you have to keep feeding the disc to get jackpots and you can stack it up by hitting ramps. Uh, and I believe combos, that's the other thing I should mention before we play, combos are a huge part of this game. Uh, and there's, there's multiple ones you can do. And um, what I mean by combo, so you can send the ball off the right flipper here, up into that tough Cora shot there. It will loop around the top onto the third flipper, which you can then send around this ramp here, all the way back round. So that's two combo, and it will feed it back to the, uh, the left flipper. You hit the scoop, which gives you something called an end of line jackpot. And you can stack those up, as long as you don't lose your ball, you can stack that jackpot up, and the more combos you get, the bigger the jackpot. And you can get you know two, three, four million points just for hitting a combo, which is a big deal. Um, and yeah, it's a cool way of scoring. It's very, it's good flow. It's very satisfying when you nail, you know, I mean, you can do more shots than that if you, you know, are really skillful. For instance, you can come off the left flipper up through the pop bumpers here, quite a tough shot, comes around again to this flipper, again to this ramp, back to this flipper. And if, you, if you're skillful, you can stack the combo again and go back round. And as long as you hit the scoop at the end of it all, and you haven't, there's only a very small time frame, you're going to get mega points. And it, honestly, it's so satisfying. Um, okay, anyway, I, <laughs> I didn't mean to waffle on quite as long as that. That is a brief overview of the gameplay of Tron. Uh, let's have a quick game. I'm not the best on it. I do have my moments. Like, I've had a couple of games, you know, um, where it's gone pretty well. Uh, but it can, be, it can be quite unforgiving. But... It's got that one more game appeal, for sure. 100% it's got that one more game appeal. And I think that comes down to hitting those Cora and Gem shots uh, and nailing those combos. Um, sometimes it all just seems to go your way. Okay, um, let's, have a, uh, let's have a crack at, um, at filming uh, some gameplay. Okay, guys, we are off. I'm just going to turn it down a tiny, tiny bit, maybe. I don't know how this is going to come across sound-wise. I'm kind of shouting straight into the phone, I think. I want you to get some of the sort of cool sound you get from this game. And um, 
I can't actually see the play field with the phone here. Anyway, never mind, let's go. So. Okay, so we're going to try and get the end of line jackpot, which I just missed, I believe. That's the Cora shot. Went for the gem shot as well, but couldn't get it. So if I keep attacking that recognizer wall, like I am, uh, that will come down in a minute and allow me to have a crack at getting the disc multi-ball. It's going to be so, so tough to, uh, to play this with this camera here, so I'll just do the best I can. Let's try and get the disc multi-ball going. There's Cora again. All right, that was a fairly, <laughs> fairly pathetic effort. Okay, but I hit the Cora shot a couple of times. If we can get that a couple more, we can get the Cora multi-ball going. I'm going to attack the disc now to get the disc multi-ball going, just to give you a bit of a feel for the game. Um, we had a bit of a combo start there where I hit that ramp and then, um, yeah, fed the uh, end of line jackpot, but I just missed it. Anyway, enough chatter. Let's, let's play some pinball and see how we get on. So building a combo here. Didn't get the end of line annoyingly, which would require the scoop. But you get a little bit of oh shit. You get a little bit of a sense of how you make combos. All right. So that's light cycle multiple started. Um, whoops. Okay, so I totally fucked that module up. Um, the aim of it really is to try and hit some combos to complete it, but yeah, it's a bit of a balls up. So what I want to be doing really now, for the sake of this game, I think, is to stack that disc as much as I can. So that's a core, core shot and a disc. As you can see, it's not going uh, particularly well. I kind of like stood off to the side of the machine, like looking over this camera. So yeah, it's pretty difficult. Building a combo. I need that scoop now, which I can't seem to uh, hit today. I'm definitely, definitely going to blame the angle that I'm uh, viewing the place for that. Okay, there's an end of line jackpot. That's a 1.2 million for that. I've got Cora lit now as well. For some reason, I seem to be able to hit the Cora shot very, very uh, well at this angle. I don't know why. And again, and there's the gem shot as well. Boom, that's that. Okay, so that's the Cora multiball now. Complete that, you've got to hit multiple core shots or the, or the gem shot once. <laughs> that was a uh, colossal, colossal fuck up. Oh, well, <laughs> at least we got it started. Let's see if we can get the disc multiple going as well. The discs are much harder shot off the right flipper than the left. With that in mind, let's uh, pass it across. Again. Almost. 
Christ. So attacking that disc over and over again. And that's this multi ball. I love this mode, it's so good. And it also gives you a chance to restart. Notice we've managed a light gem in the middle of all this as well. Now, if I can hit the disc again, I can restart it. So really, boom, there we go. I think I've rinsed the jackpots dry, so I need to hit the recognizer. Oh shit, fuck. Okay, so. That was a pandemonium. All right, so next up, we've got an extra ball lit, so let's try and get that. I'll tell you what, sometimes you can flute that out of the pot. Boom, right, there we go. And I believe we've also got Sea of Simulation, which is the sort of light multi ball, sorry, the uh, light wizard mode. Cool, all right. Now I need to be, it's going to tell me to do the gem shot first, um, to complete that mode, if I can complete them all I can get to portal. So I need to be feeding up to the extra flipper through the Cora shot, which I now can't, oh there we go, ah oh, so close. So in this time really I want it on the other flipper, Oops, but steady as we go. No good. There we go. Okay, so that completes the gem mode, okay? So now I need the CLU shots, which are the flashing, uh, these, these flashing helmet things here. There's one. Is that two or not? A fucking farm door. So, I badly need the Cora shot. There it is. And now I need just the scoop, I think. I could do it on the other flipper, really. So close. Okay, so now we need the Zeus targets, which are the flashing white ones. This game's actually going pretty well. Okay, so we'll attack the ones either side of the ramp first. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so it's straight down the middle. We had a really good run, though, then, on uh, Sea of Simulation. So you can see the completed modes. Flynn, Flynn Gem, CLU, Cora. Uh, the disc is complete, and Tron and the uh, recognizer is complete. So all that's really left to do is complete Zeus, these targets, and complete the light cycle multi-ball. And that will like the portal mode, which is the mode I've never got to. And we are on ball three, so it's doable. Um, okay, I'm just sort of planning my, uh, yeah, working out my plan of action. Let's do the Zeus shots, I think. Yeah, yeah. Can't resist a combo every now and then. Cannot hit that fucking scoop. Oh, 
Oh, come on, that had to hit that target, surely. I seem to be good at battering the, the white target next to the one I need. Nope, no good, come on. There we go, that got it. So now I need the S, that one there. Oh, no way. That's a disgraceful drain. Fuck. It was impressive. All right, last ball. We got 57 million, it's not a shit score. Um, it's not too bad. So yeah, again, I need to be getting Zeus, which is really annoying because often the Zeus mode, these four targets, you get that like kind of by, you just kind of fluke it as you go around. Um, so that's two of the letters, that's three of them. One more. Oh, you fuck it. <laughs> shit. Bet at once, I score. <sighs> Whew, okay, so that is Tron. My apologies if the sound's no good. I haven't watched it back yet. It's gonna be, it's so difficult because I've got the glass out of the machine. You've got solar noise going off. You've got that disc thing spinning. You know, the music playing and the call outs, it can be a little bit uh, of a racket. And meanwhile, you've got me like with the phone sort of this far away from my face shouting into it, uh, trying to explain what the fuck's going on. I don't know how well it's going to come across. What was cool though was that was uh, a relatively decent game on Tron. Tron can be quite cruel and you can really, you know, it can drain you really, really badly. So guys, there we are. Anyway, that is Tron Pro. Um, I think my camera's fucking up. I've got it in another ridiculous tripod thing. Bodged tripod. I need to sort this out. Um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking at Tron and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.